Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide. In this lesson, we learn about functional organization of the eukaryotic gene, regulation of gene expression, and RNA processing. The promoter is the region where RNA polymerase 2 binds, as well as multiple other transcription factors upstream from the gene locus. The cyan eukaryotes include the CAAT box, which is anywhere between 60 and 100 base pairs upstream from the transcription start site, and the TAT TATA box, which is usually about 35 base pairs upstream from the transcription start site. The transcription factor binding will initiate RNA polymerase 2 binding, which will initiate transcription. A mutation in the promoter region will usually result in decreased transcription. The enhancer is a DNA locus that will bind regulator protein called activators, which will increase transcription of the gene locus. A silencer is a DNA locus that will bind a regulator protein called a repressor that will decrease transcription from a gene locus. Both enhancers and silencers can be located far from the gene they regulate or close to it. Now that the RNA is synthesized, it must be spliced into its complete form. The initial form is called HNRNA, or heterogeneous RNA because it consists of introns and exons. In the nucleus, a 7-methylguanosine cap is added, also known as the 5' prime cap. A polyadenylation tail is added to the 3' prime end, which consists of about 200 adenine nucleotides. This gets added by polypolymerase, which does not require a template. Finally, the introns are spliced out. The now cap-tailed and spliced RNA is called mRNA. The mRNA gets transported out of the nucleus, which is translated in the cytosol. Regulation of a protein can be regulated after RNA processing. Cytoplasmic processing bodies, also known as P bodies, contain exonuclease, decapping enzymes, and microRNAs. All of these work together to suppress and degrade mRNA just in case translation needs to be limited. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.